Well, what is clipping? I'm glad you asked. I'll show you. So in layman's terms, clipping is when you've reached the limits of the amplifier and it can no longer produce any more power. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're clipping because if your subwoofer is in the trunk, you won't be able to hear it. But I'll show you what you're listening for right now. Right now I have this oscilloscope set up and I have this amplifier. I'm going to place a 40 hertz tone and I'm going to turn the volume up. On 40 hertz, what you're going to see is the signal is going to rise. This means you're getting louder. Then you hit a certain point and it starts to flatten off pretty bad. That flat spot right there is clipping. So here you can see I've zoomed in just a little bit more. You can watch right there. So basically, as you're turning this up, it'll hit to a point where it starts to distort. Right there, it'll start to flatten out. Once you get it to start flattening out like that, that is the clipping. So when they say that you're clipping your signal, this is what they mean. All that means is that you're turning the amplifier up past its ability to produce the power that it's rated for. So why is clipping bad? Well, I'll show you. I have a subwoofer hooked up right here. We're going to play this tone on that woofer, and I want you to listen for a difference in the sound. You'll hear it. I'll show you. Okay, so we're beginning to play the sound. You can see the woofer is moving. This is 40 hertz. That's the clipping signal. You can hear it. Listen to the woofer and watch the graph. Listen to it and watch. You hear it? It's destabilizing. That is a hard clip. That hard clipping will damage your subwoofer. So once you're playing that weird square wave through your woofer, you'll start to notice that it's going to make a weird sound. Then what it's going to do is if you play it like that too long, the woofer is actually going to burn up. If you want to know why it's going to burn up, let's look at this amplifier to help us understand what's going on inside of here and why it damages your subwoofers. So at this side of the amplifier, the power comes in through the main terminals. It's stepped up by this power supply section, say from 12 volts to say 50 volts. On the 50 volt side, it comes to these rail caps here and it supplies each of these channels independently. So there's 50 volts here, providing there, 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 and there. So as the outputs here are commanded by the inputs to make a signal, that signal is going to be proportional to the input you tell it. So if you have your gain turned up too much, it can tell the signal to be bigger than the 50 volts that it's able to offer. That is why you see that flat spot on the wave. So as you can see right here, I'm turning this up and you can see right about 50 volts where I think this amplifier is set at. You can see right at 50 volts it starts to clip. Now if you start to go past that, you notice it says it goes up a couple volts, but it really doesn't. It kind of stays right there at that line. You can see those lines. So this is staying at that 50 volt mark. So instead of going up proportionally, say 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it hits a point where it just literally stops producing more power. That's because all this amplifier is capable of producing is 50 volts. So why does that damage your subwoofer? So basically this signal right here as the signal goes up and down and up and down, at the same time your woofer is moving up and down, up and down. It's supposed to be a nice flow. What happens is, is when you crank this up like that, you have a flat spot. So what the woofer is doing is just coming up and staying and going down and staying and coming up and staying. So it's moving like this. And that hard motion of being pushed and forced, even for a split second, at the top and then pulled down to the bottom and held there for a split second, builds heat in the coils and that's what causes the damage. Also a little tidbit, I don't know, remember where I got this from, but I heard that 7% of clipping is all you need to damage a woofer. And if I had a woofer right here to burn up, I would show you that this little bit of clipping will absolutely burn up that woofer. If you took one woofer and you had it clipped and another woofer and you had it turned down to where it didn't clip, right there, and you played them side by side, you will notice that the one woofer would continue moving, the other one would simply burn up after a while.